it's your girl O coming with you with this haul. How's everybody doing? I'm doing fine and dandy myself, and I hope you guys are doing the same. I promise to get this stuff hauled. It's not a lot, but it is a lot. It's not a lot. But um, in, in, in my uh, view of hauls, it's not a lot. Um, hmm, it's lippy. I'm loving this lippy, y'all. I'm going to share this lippy with y'all first. This is from Palette Cosmetics, which is also owned and operated by my daughter. And here are the colors. It's really lightweight. I feel like I don't even have on anything on my lips. I'm not really a heavy makeup person. I, I barely wear makeup. Um, and I'm liking it. I actually had this palette for a while she and I've never even tried it until today and it looks pretty but anyway let's let's get back into this haul I have stuff from Amazon Prime Day um, Walmart um, Z gallery so let's get into it I'm not gonna keep this so yeah I'm gonna start with Amazon Prime I didn't find too much this year like I usually would. Or maybe I just didn't need nothing. But I did find like household essentials. Tech things that I needed. And the first thing I needed was a new um, case for my iPad. Now when I was traveling. I had this thing down in my personal bag. And <laughs> was praying to and from. That I wasn't going to get it wet. That I wasn't going to smash it. Crack the screen. So, But I made it. And after that I said let me find me a case. And it was like $8. So why not? And I like to um watch TV and stuff while I am um cooking. So I do like that it has the different grooves. You know, like, you know, some cases do, like majority of them don't. Nothing fancy, sleek and black. And yeah, I needed this. <laughs> and the next thing I picked up, you guys, was um these chargers, I also always keep these on hand because my grandson and my son never can keep up with their chargers. And plus, I like them because there are three of them and it is um, the 10 feet cables. And because I'm a person that likes to lay down on the couch or on the bed and be on my phone or my iPad. And so, you know, sometimes your plugs be far away. So, mm -hmm. These are usually maybe $15 and they were got all the way down to like eight bucks. So eight bucks, three charger cables. And after that, I picked up this wireless mouse. I go through these. I don't know if I'll be clicking and clacking on stuff, looking window shopping or what, but I go through these like water. And it does have the see-through thing and it changes color it lights up so yeah and this was only eight dollars like i said they had a lot of deals on um the little tech stuff but i didn't really find too much home decor that i was really crazy about but i'm still gonna share it with y'all because y'all might you know let me get y'all some of these um also amazon prime day is the best day to buy your security systems alarm systems anything you need to secure your home so i picked up some more of these batteries i picked up two for my ring cam i didn't really need another alarm system or any more cameras because we good here okay we good i can see you um so i did need batteries though to interchange out so i picked up these um like i said the alarm systems the alexas all that stuff be on sale but I was struggling. And last but not least, I picked up this mat for my laptop because I don't have a desk area. So I like the fact that I can just roll it up, put the scrap on it, and, you know, tuck it away. Because sometimes I'll work at my kitchen table or I'll get on my laptop in my dining room. So it won't be in the way. I can just easily fold it up. Um, it is a good size. Just simple gray. And I think this was only like $8. Like I said, I might be sharing something that, you know, you guys might want or need for yourself. So, because at first I wasn't going to share all this stuff. 
another home essential that I picked up on uh, Amazon Prime Day was these laundry cup, if you can see it, laundry cup um, things for when you have your larger containers with the spouts that you have to squeeze. Um, if your child, well, if your adult child is like mine when he does laundry and spills half of your laundry detergent all over the place, I truly, truly needed to buy this if I can get it out the pack. It came two in the pack. It was like $5. And so you just hook it onto your bigger detergent bottles and you can put your cup here. When you squeeze, it can go into the cup and not spill all over the place. Now let's see how good <laughs> that son of mine does <laughs> with this and see that if he's still going to be spilling my laundry because laundry soap is expensive. Oh, I'm going to be wasting my stuff. But anyway, I picked this up for $5. The last thing I picked up is also for the laundry. Um, As I stated in my last video, go wash that clean with me, that I had to get a new washer-dryer set. My set was 20 years old. It was time. I didn't want to let it go. I didn't want to let Betsy go. Like, that, that really hurt in my heart. But the washer wasn't really spinning out the clothes. But I, it was good enough for me. The dryer, what was the problem is that my basement flooded. It got water in the motor. It was more than what the dryer was worth buying a new one. So I picked up these things from Amazon and they are <clears throat> washer dryer lifts. So in case my basement ever flood again, and what you do here is you just click these metal bars in there. You get it to the, your desired width of your washer and your dryer but if i can show y'all they are it has wheels on it so if you want to clean under your washer and dryer you can and if you need height so that you can get your washer and dryer off the floor so there will be no water damage um they also have this um pedal thing that you just screw and adjust and it also has um, levels in there, if you can see. So I'm gonna see if this work out and I will um, come back and let you guys know how it works. It's supposed to hold up to a thousand pounds. So I'm not, I can't afford no new washer and dryer. So hopefully it works. Okay, let's get into some home decor. So as you can see, on the side of me, I have this giant, giant plant, and it is called a ginkgo plant. It's six foot tall. You guys, I paid maybe 40 bucks for this plant during Amazon Prime. I went and I looked um, up the plant because I should have bought two, and I only bought one. But I will insert how the plant actually looks. Yeah, I liked it the way the leaves looked. I liked it, the coloring, the burgundy color, the yellow coloring on the leaves. It was very tall. And um, yeah, now I think this thing is like $159, $69. You guys, I'm so sorry. Um, hopefully, if you watch it, it might go on sale. I did want a different plant. I did not want Fiddle. Fiddle. I did not want Bird of Paradise. So I was looking for something different, and I, I like this plant. I truly do. Okay, you guys, the next thing I picked up was these cups. You got six of them in a pack. They came in three colors. Um, you got blue, pink, and, and yellow. I'm drinking some good old um, ice water in here. Mm. They are glass, you guys. And I like the fact that the straw is wide enough so you can drink your smoothies out of. You can actually take this and put it on top if you're outside. You don't want any bugs to fly up in your straw. And yeah, I just thought these was cute and I like the colors. And I think these were like maybe $15 for six. Yeah, $15 for six. So like I said, I'll have all this stuff 
link down below in the description box last but not least you guys i picked up this rug for my entryway but it did not work out it was too small but i just want to show y'all how pretty is this rug i love the texture i love the pattern i love the vintage look but i don't know something told me to go check in my um order history so i went to check in my amazon order history i have the same rug in a bigger size that i had bought maybe a year ago for my kitchen but as i stated i never got around to really revamping my kitchen and i'm not planning on doing it because i plan on not living here um maybe no more longer than next summer so I'm so glad of that. So I'll just take that and use it in my entryway and find another rug to throw in the kitchen. So, and it costs more. Amazon, is it me? Or to me, it seems like they refunding and they're sending back on items. I'm just not the same. Like, it would cost me more to have this sent back than it cost for the rug. The rug was only 10 bucks. And they wanted to send it back for 10 bucks. So I'll find some way to throw this rug. Oh, literally. Are you guys ready for Christmas? I went on Walmart and I seen a little thing that they had Christmas in July. So I picked up these here reindeer. And they really are for outdoor. But I will not put anything outdoor because, yeah, I'm still talking about it. Whoever you are out there that stole all my Christmas decorations from outside of my house, all my inflatables, candy canes, they waited to New Year's Eve to get your girl. I came <laughs> out of my house and all my decorations was gone, just trifling. But anyway, um, I like this. I wanted those gold big deers last year that everybody got from big lots that i couldn't get my hands on i'm not running them down so if i want to paint these gold i can but this year this black is definitely going to go with my theme i'm going to use them indoor and so you got two of them and they were originally like 69 dollars but i got them for 30 yeah 30 dollars so and you get the other one that's like laying down this is kind of heavy And so, yep, that, I won't be picking up too much for Christmas. I already got my theme in mind, what I'm going to do. I already have stuff that I bought from last year to use for this year. So, I'm up on it. I'm up on Christmas and I'm up on fall early this year. And hopefully, I can get my content out so I can show you guys how I'm going to decorate and give you some ideas. So, that's that. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Continuing on with our Christmas in July, you guys, I picked up this here Christmas tree. I'm gonna try to lift it. And I will insert some pictures as well. As you can see, it is a seven foot slum tree. Um, say, um, let me go one more time. Beagle pie. The original price was $59. I ended up getting it for $35. Originally, last year, they wanted like $89 for it. And now it's $59. But I ended up getting it for like $35. I wanted one last year. But like I said, it was I wasn't going to pay $100 for a slim tree. Whew, whoo, God. All right. <laughs> Your girl. Whew. It's out of breath. So it has the lights in already on it. Seven foot slim. Y'all ready? Y'all look. Y'all better get ready. It's coming. <clears throat> One minute, y'all. Okay, back to that son of mine. We in a recession. He don't understand. So, um, I like to keep paper towels in my bathroom. 
I think they're more sanitized for people to dry their hands. But unfortunately, my son used the paper towels for everything else but drying his hands. I don't know. I'll come in there, big, big old half of my rolls of paper towel, big old wives just balled up. I think he's using them for cleaning rags instead of getting a cleaning rag or some disinfectant wipes to clean up after himself. So I put a roll in there, and then within a day or a day and a half, the roll is gone. I'm like, oh, no, sir. So I end up picking up these towels um, from Walmart. They're a dollar. They were only like 98 cents. My daughter said she was going to try to find her some. I picked up like seven of them. So I've used two. I have five. So I could just change them out every day. And if I do have guests, I will put a roll of paper towels back in the bathroom for my guests or um, a social event. But for me and him, yeah, buddy. Because you... <laughs> Yeah, you're going to start wasting my paper towels. They ain't too expensive. So I picked up some um, bar towels. I don't think I've never seen these to inside Walmart, but I found these online. And I like that the fact that they had the light gray and the dark gray to go in my kitchen as well. Because I also dry my dishes with paper towel. Like, any way you can cut corners and cut costs and save money, yeah, we're going to be drying them dishes with these dish towels. So, you guys, I hope you're enjoying this haul. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. I know it's not all the glitz and glam. I know people like to see all that expensive glitz and glam stuff, but I still want to share things that, you know, the average day Joe might need. So, with that in mind, like I said, winter is coming. <laughs> Go on walmart.com and pick up some of them clearance items. These were on sale, guys, for $7. These are your old grandma robe, honey, with the zippers. <laughs> um, Because I'll be out there freezing in the winter. Them little old um, house clothes that I'll be having on, I have to go take my dog out, out there shaking like a leaf. Honey, I'm bringing back the old granny. My kids gonna be laughing because I used to have a pink one like this. It, oh my god. <laughs> I can't talk about that thing so bad. You got the zipper. And I bought it big enough, so if I want to put something underneath here, I could, and I'm not going to be cold. And also, I'm going to share with y'all, they have a lot of their summer um, dresses and clothes on um, clearance, and even in the plus, the plus and the smaller size, so if your kids are going back to school, you need those back to school clothes, and you um, live in warm climates, I've seen people haul stuff from even down to a dollar. So I picked up this here dress. It's just a black, simple um, sundress. If you turn it around, girl. And it has a belt around the waist. I seen the comedian um, EJ Speaks, and she was um, talking about Walmart got um, crying chicken dresses. <laughs> so I went on here. And I found this dress, and I said, she right. This for frying chicken. This for uh, turning ribs. This for making potato salad. <laughs> and this was only $6. Like I said, they got massive, massive amount of clearance on Walmart. But I don't really need any more clothes right now. So, you guys, we're down to the last wire. I know, I know. You've been waiting for it. Z Gallery. Oh. Let me grab my drink. I don't know what's going on with my voice and my throat. Mm. And look, guys. I had that lippy on. Nothing on the straw. Go get you some pout. Um, I wanted these things last year. But, your girl, oh, if it's not on sale, if it's not on clearance, if it ain't no bargain, no $5, $2 off, oh, don't buy it. Oh, it's cheap. She liked the shop, but she she definitely is cheap. Um, I won't be buying too much for fall this year. But last year, I wanted these. 
canisters. As you can see, they're clashing with my dress. So can you guys see them? Um, they're with the leopard print. I picked up the tall one. And I also picked up the small one. This one was $14. I think this one was $10. All in all, I spent $61. That's my kind of shopping. I like Z Gallery, but it can get prices. Um, I also picked up the matching pumpkins. I picked up the daddy. I picked up the mama. Now, why the mama always short and wide? Good Lord. So, I picked up daddy and mama. And they two babies. And I'm probably not going to add too much else to uh, my fall. Maybe some florals or some greenery. Just and. Basically, what's going on nowadays in the economy, we kind of got to use um, the things that we want, try to conserve our money and being so wasteful. So, uh, and I got so much fall stuff. I got more fall stuff than I actually do have Christmas, I think, to be honest, or just as much. They got to be equal. So, I'm not really going to... Fall is a vibe. Fall is a vibe, so I'm going to be focusing more on the vibe of fall and it's still gonna be pretty and i hope you guys come and see how i decorate and that's it until the next time i will see y'all on the next video bye bye